So a lot of times when we're gardening, get eyes much bigger than what our stomachs can handle. We say, ah, I'm gonna plant 4,000 square feet or whatever crazy number it is. And that typically is what I end up doing. I get, you know, huge dreams, huge designs and end up not getting there. But this year, we kind of focused on a smaller area. And even though we were super late, we just said, screw it, we're gonna put some stuff in the ground. And so now we actually have stuff that we're harvesting. So we have a single pumpkin. There may be another one growing up over here, but we got our Halloween pumpkin. This is a bunch of random old beet seed and stuff we threw out because it was had to go in the trash. The amaranth is spreading itself, that big purple thing right there. This is a watermelon we planted late in the season. We've already gotten five watermelons. Here's a big one right here, just growing. I mean, we've had some warm temperatures too, but you know, this is amazing. <clears throat> and then all this right here, this is a whole two big rows of sweet potatoes just rambling everywhere. And it's going through the peppers. The tomato there is kind of grown up onto the cucumber trellis because the cucumber got a fungus or something on it pretty quick but we got some good cucumbers out of it too and then this over here was the old salad bed we just kind of let go and these tall things right here by the way these are called lamb's quarters it's a natural wild edible and i'm going to be i've already harvested a ton of seed can't even tell but all that stuff up top is all seed all those little things right there lots of seeds so i got to be careful lest that comes back with a vengeance next year Get up close, you can see it better. So all this stuff, if we would have given up, said, nah, it's, nobody's gonna do it. We wouldn't have had any of this. Wouldn't have all these sweet potatoes about to come in. Wouldn't have a bunch of the peppers we've been harvesting that are still coming. We've got some okra in the back there. We even had kale that made it all the way through the year. Not that it's gonna be that good right now, but that's a still growing kale plant that we planted this spring. And here's some more down here. It's in much better shape. So, when you hear the, oh, it's too late, or, oh, I don't know what to do, just do it. Worst thing that happens, you hit the frost, and, oh, well, you tried. <laughs>